Hey guys, it's Chrome here, and I'm just by myself today, unfortunately. Everyone seems to be busy, and I'm going to just show you about the house, and then I'm going to show you how to do solar redstone. Um, we made a few upgrades to the house. We added this marble... Oh, wait, where am I doing? Fireplace, which turns on at night. Very fancy. Um, I might do a tutorial on the igniters later, and I might show it. I don't know if we should show my livestock machine. Um, we decided to make livestock killing a bit more efficient in game. Obviously, we don't believe in that in real life. Um, I moved the teleporter up here because I've added a nice little fountain downstairs. Well, yeah, it was me. I was going to say Ross added it, but no, it wasn't. It was, it was me. Um, oh, fuck. Where did he come from? Closing these doors. Um, we got a wee farm going out here. Um, we like the look of flax because everyone seems to think it looks like hemp. Obviously, I don't take weed around in real life, but I don't know. Maybe the other guys do, but I don't. Um, this is our machine room downstairs where we have the core and obviously our EU detector. I just wanted to check the power of these because there's very important factors in this. And I don't know if industrial craft, build craft, red power, all the mods. I will eventually add. Oh, oh, who did this? Oh, what's this? What's this stuff? Oh, oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll look at that later. Um, I've got a wee bit of power. That's fine. Um, I don't think it affects if you have no power. It might. It might affect if you have no power, but we don't ever tend to have no power, because if we have no power, the mass fabricator just won't do it. See, the mass fabricator is just not going to do anything, and it'll always leave a bit of power in. But if, yeah, we're just we're just spawning stuff in. Um, if you completely run, ignore that. If you completely run out of power, no, if you have too much power, it's going to start making the force wheel buggy. So, yeah, you have to always have a machine on, and I tend to use a mass fabricator just because it's simple to make, and you get iridium. So I'm going to start. Idiots. Gonna show off the now. See, so you, you can see it, the bug happening here. It just clicks on and off, but that's fine. We don't we don't care about that. It's got tons of power. This one doesn't have to have power. Now this is the way I've set it up. I, actually, I should have showed that in the house. Ooh, um, we have a mass. Oh, I'm just going to get mod. It's easier. I don't want to punch from any of my lights. We have an MFSU. No, actually, we don't have an MFSU there. What am I talking about? Downstairs. We have the solar panel in there, cabled down to our MFSU, which is down here. There it is. Sorry, guys. <coughs> and then that MFSU is linked to another MFSU. Now, I've linked it to two MFSUs because that creates EU between the cables. And the first one will always be constant. The MFSU will never stop powering the MFSU. But for some reason it will stop powering the mass fabric here. Because it seems to do it in like chunks. But whatever. That's just to get rid of the power. That's to travel and activate that. We don't really care. That could be any cable. That doesn't have to be an EU reader. This one has to be an EU reader cable. Now the cable itself is called the EU detector. Why did I say reader? It's not hard to make. Oh, I'll show you the guys. Not hard to make. Normal four by four circuit and a couple of redstone. If you can make four by four with refined iron, you know refined iron copper cables, you should be able to do that. So that's fine. That's, I thought it was going to come there. Now this one is powering the redstone directly. Now what the EU detector does is when EU or Minecraft power passes through it, it will create a redstone signal, and that redstone signal will power this lamp. Now it's not on now because obviously it's night. This one is how I've done my lights. I've created like lunar power. But obviously it's not lunar power because it's not getting powered by the moon, which would be awesome, but whatever. Um it turns on the redstone using the moon or the night. Whatever. You know what I mean. And what it does is there's no redstone, so that's not activated, so that's on. When it turns today, That'll do that, and it'll invert the signal, and it'll turn off. 
and this one will turn on. Now, you don't have to use this for lamps. Obviously, I've used it for my force field. Um, I was trying to think what other things you could use it for. You could use it for a quarry, obviously the marble fireplace in there. Um, obviously, you're out mining during the day. Maybe you want a quarry on during the day. Maybe you don't want it on during the night because, obviously, some people have the mod where the machines continue to work while you're asleep and obviously the quarry may overheat. Maybe, but maybe you do want it on during the day, uh, the night, sorry, if you've got a sufficient power supply and cooling system. But that's fine. Um, I don't know what else you could use it for. Lamps, force fields. I'm trying to think of like protection. Maybe a door. If you're really, really well off with materials. Obviously we're using creative for this. But, you know, a, f a force field is fine for us. Someone just spoke to me on Skype. I'll speak to them in a minute. Um, obviously if you're well off with materials and you're on SMP but you don't want to go as far as making a force field you could make a piston wall which goes up during the night or you could have a piston trap where it opens the ground both ways and it has like lava or maybe you have a bridge that lowers during the night you could have that on a server where the bridge like lowers and it has like lava you could do that with wireless redstone and this you can combine most of the things the only ones I've combined in here are red power for the red alloy wires and the lamps. Uh, industrial craft for the cables, or is it bell craft? I'm pretty sure it's industrial craft. Um, obviously, the MFFS, the modular, I found out what it meant, modular force field system. That's what it means. I found out somewhere. It's actually a separate mod. Um, I've combined that, and I've combined wireless rest on, which is, I think, part of rare power again. Now here we have the... what's it called? I don't know, like, I want to figure it out. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called, that's terrible. Splitter cable, ah, I know what it does. This kind of works in the opposite way. When you add a redstone signal to it, it will stop working. It won't let EU pass. Now this is handy if you want to charge a generator or something. If you want to have like two fully charged generators or something, I don't know, some people do, you can let the energy go through to that one. See, it's charging quite fast. I'm going to try and stop that about 100,000. Ah, well, it'll take a couple of seconds to work. And then, you can turn on that one, and all the power will go to that one. Now, this can be handy if you use needs to power separate machines. You might have a quarry over here, which you want on during the night. Now, you could, if you're really clever, actually, I might do that now. Combine these. Um, I need a couple of MFSUs. It's good. I'll show you how to do it during the tutorial, 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 and you'll watch me screw up. Okay, if I put a cable there, I need four times cable because I just don't want to use more EU because I don't see a point. Put an MFF, MFSU there. Um, I want a mass fabric here just to waste some of the power. I don't need all that power. Um, no, wait, nope. I need a high voltage. So really, is that high voltage? Yep, no, I want it to charge pretty fast. Shit, okay. You see that's charging. Now maybe this is power in a quarry. But maybe you've got this underground miles away, but you've got this piece showing. Now obviously, the only way you can power up a quarry, you could use wireless redstone, but if you want to be fancy, you could do it this way. I'm sure there's definitely uses for this, because why the hell would it be in there? Someone will have a use for it. So if we just get the redstone right now, give me the redstone, 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 you see that one's charging. Hmm, I'm trying to think, maybe if I do, I think I was trying to do this a minute ago and I kept screwing up. If I take the inverter, and do that, I don't see that's going to just be on, <laughs> oops, um, I know what to do, do it that way. Uh, actually, I don't even need to do that, what am I doing? I can just do it that way. And then that'll be doing that. And there we go. Now, obviously that one will be charging during the day. That could be doing a quarry. And this one could be charging for your force field. Maybe you want this one charging for your force field for night. And the power in this 
which you were st storing during the day is being used for your quarry. That'll be a use for it. Yeah, there we go. I found a use. Now when you change it tonight, it will start using that power that you stored for the force field. Nope. Oh, wait. I've done something wrong. It's because it's still transferring power. Right, okay. Um, I've done this a funny way. If I just use a whole high volt solar array instead. Okay. I'll try this again. <laughs> See, I told you it's screw up. Um, right, there we go. You have to just do it the way that I've done it upstairs. Where I have a high volt solar array, then the cable, leading to the MFSU. The only reason I've got two MFS is because I like I wanted more an another solar thing in between the computer board linking it up to the one up top and I wanted one closer to where I was needing it. So now if I change it tonight, please work. Otherwise I'm gonna look a moron. And change. Yeah, see, there you go. Again, that'll be used for the force field, which just came on. I'll be using that. And that'll be charging. No, no, no. No, see, dumb, did that again. This will be charging for the quarry to use in the morning. Wait, quarries don't even use power. Fuck, uh, shit. Pump, no, pumps use engines. Hmm. Hmm. This will be... <laughs> That's a good question. I'm sure someone will comment and give me an answer. Um, this could be used for the force field. This could be used for furnaces and stuff, I suppose. Because if you have that mod on, it would use all the power for the furnace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Electric furnaces, induction furnaces, stuff like that. And then when it comes back on today, you'll be out, you'll be mining, you'll be chopping down trees, you won't really care about your furnace. They're still charging. Why the hell is that still No, wait, this one's not. Ah, see. I'm getting confused here. It's because I'm used to those cables. So now that will be your furnace power. And that will be charging for the force field at night. So there you go. That's a couple of things you can do with solar. Um, I'll give you a quick look at what we've done. What we're going to do is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more efficient. Say we have a wee pig farm. Piggy, 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 piggy. Right, eh, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'll close myself. No, 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 I can't close myself in. Someone had um, it set up back here, but we'll have to fix that because it wasn't working right. Spawn a couple of piggies. Piggy, 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 piggy. Obviously, it's a waste of time to kill them all, then cook their food. I mean, why not just do it this way? Turn the fire off. Let them cook. Let the let the meat cinder. Oh my god, I get such bad comments. Go in, collect your steak. See how how much faster and more efficient is that? You don't need to kill them. You don't need to waste so much resources. Just need a couple of igniters. They're not too bad to make. Two minutes. Use powder with red. Oh, I did it again. You powder it with redstone. Nether rack. I need a plier. Cup. Yeah, piston stone. Nothing major. You're not wasting your diamond sword killing pigs. You can kill them once and get tons of pork chops. I was gonna say steak, that's cows. Um, yeah, don't don't take that seriously, please. We're not we're not bloody Nazis or anything. We don't do this in real life. <laughs> don't don't be calling up Peter or anything or SPCA. We're we're not psychotic. It's a game. We're not corrupting our own minds or anything. It's not like we're going to build a nuclear reactor under someone's house soon. <laughs> oh well, that's it, guys. Um, I don't really know what to do for the next tutorial. I was hoping Ross was going to come up with an idea, but Ross is kind of just fucking around. Um, I might look into boars, and I might do some computer craft. I'm not very good at major computer craft, but I know the basics like displaying text on screens and stuff and if I'm going to do a tutorial on to I'll look in a bit more but really not something I'm too good with so I'll have to think and I'm sure you guys can give me some feedback so thanks for watching guys I'm off